Marina, before we, we look to the bigger picture of this issue, I, I want to ask you specifically about Estonia. Now, in 2007, Estonia suffered a large scale cyber attack that shut down sites within the country. Tell us a little bit about that and what key lessons were learned there. Uh, yes, thank you for that question. And, and that year was remarkable because 2007, I was a student ambassador to Russia, which means that I was in Moscow during the cyber attacks. And I'm a lawyer, but education, I'm a professional diplomat, which means that in 10 minutes, I had to learn what do DDoS attacks mean and start explaining it to the international community, what was happening in Estonia. But you have to understand that Estonia went online uh, already at the end of 1990. So for 2007, we had been online for more than 10 years. Being online means that we had online voting system, e-government, uh, online police, we had e-taxation. So we had hundreds of services being provided online. And the attacks against e-Estonia were the first time when uh, cyber was used by one country against another country for political reasons. So those attacks did not kill anybody. We did not consider triggering Article 5 of NATO, collective self-defense. But they were disturbing, they were humiliating for a country that considered itself being a stellar in the sphere of e-digitalization, e, e, uh, so we learned our lessons, but I think that international community also learned the lessons of having cybersecurity high on political agenda, on cooperation with other stakeholders, which was mentioned by almost all speakers today, cooperation with academia, but cooperation among states and cooperation in international organizations. So cooperation is one of the key words and uh, having high on political agenda, which means financial resources, which means human resources for cybersecurity. 